Hey, what's up YouTube? It's me again, Matt, or Tech on Site of TheBigPC.com. Here's another unboxing of a mini ITX um, CPU case. It's the Silverstone Zugo Zero 5 Lite. So let's get right into it. So this one, it's a small form factor uh, CPU case. Um, it's from a, um, a good uh, manufacturer, which is uh, Silverstone. Um, the Zugo Zero 5 Lite, uh, the Lite means um, it's only a CPU case and doesn't have an included power supply. So this model uh, comes has a, uh, I mean uh, it has a different model. There's another model which comes with another par uh, which has a power supply, but this one comes with uh, no PSU. Uh, this is the USB 3.0 ready uh, CPU case. And uh, one thing about uh, good about this um, mini ITX case is. Uh, although it's very small, but it would support an 82 millimeter in height uh, CPU cooling, and uh, there's it would support uh, two standard length uh, expansion cards up to 10 inches. Um, again, uh, this this uh, CPU case would support an SFX uh, power supply, so it's not uh, compatible with a regular ATX case, and. Uh, it supports both uh, two and a half and three and a half uh, hard drives. So let me flip this over. All right. So uh, there are two models for the Suga Zero Five Lite. One is the black model, and the other one is the white model. So the SG05B means black, uh, the SG05W means white. So the material of this is a plastic uh, front uh, panel, but the body is uh, steel. Uh, again, the, it's, this supports mini DTX or a mini ITX uh, motherboard. So if you have a micro, um, micro ATX or a regular ATX motherboard, it's not supported. And it's it has a drive bay, although it's small, but it would support a uh, slim uh, optical drive, only one. And um, uh, there's the, its cooling system is there's one um, sole intake, uh, 120 millimeter, uh, which is a 1000, which has a 1200 RPM. And uh, there are two expansion slots, so you can uh, put in a uh, a uh, two. Um, to video card if you want to and there's an IO port uh, USB 3.02 and there's an audio uh, one and uh, a mic uh, front IO port uh, again its power supply is uh, an optional uh, standard SFX and uh, again this would support up to 10 inches um, graphics card okay so let me try it. I'll open this uh, box and um, so so we can see what's inside this uh, this uh, micro ITX gate okay so let's have a closer look of the Silverstone Zuga 05 so this is the uh, front panel uh, on the front we'll see at the lower left uh, corner the Silverstone um, Silverstone uh, logo there's the power and uh, reset switch there's also a LED indicator to indicate if it's uh, powered on there are two uh, USB 3.0 and an IO uh, panel for audio and uh, microphone and uh, at the front this is the sole uh, intake fan it's a 120 t 120 millimeter uh, intake fan and let me flip this over on the side Okay, so on the side you have uh, an exhaust uh, fan on the uh, right side and uh, same as on the left side. There you go. So this is the intake fan for, for the video card. So the one thing that I have uh, observed about this Sugo 05, there are a lot of um, ventilation on the front sides and even on the top now at the bottom i mean at the back so 
Here's the uh, I.O. Uh, panel for the motherboard. You have the part here for power supply. And here you have uh, two expansion card slot for two uh, video cards if you'd like to to put in a, uh, a uh, video card uh, which is two. So here's a look on the inside of the Sugu05 uh, CPU case. So this is the um, the um, uh, case uh, connector. So you have here the power switch, uh, LED uh, uh, LED switch, and for the reset switch, uh, this is the connector for the USB USB 3.0 uh, towards your motherboard, and here is the three pin connector for for the um, uh, fan and you have here the um, the you have the screws and the um, bottom fit for for the uh, CPU case and here at the top um, this is where you put in the uh, uh, slim optical drive and this cage is for for the uh, two and a half and uh, three and a half uh, um, hard drive, and uh, this one, uh, this is the the uh, fan, and it has a grill, so it won't uh, uh, interfere on the cables on the CPU. So overall, uh, this one is a uh, uh, pretty good um, mini ITX uh, CPU case. One thing about this uh, CPU case, uh, although it's uh, small, there are a lot of uh, intake, so uh, I don't think um, uh, temperature would be much of an issue. And um, overall, uh, I like this case. For those who would uh, want to build a mini ITX case, it's uh, small, but uh, it can uh, accommodate a few hardwares that would make your uh, build uh, great. So again, uh, please uh, uh, put in your comments uh, down below and please like or dislike if you'd like this video. And thank you again for, for watching my video. And please subscribe to my YouTube channel so you could get updates on videos I'm regularly uploading every week. Thank you.